Good afternoon, I'm John Dowden, I work for NEC, and we're introducing our new LiveScan product called SmartScan, LiveScan Made Smart. And one of the big features of this, we made it easy to learn, easy to use. The user interface is on Microsoft Windows 10, and we can provide it in different configurations depending upon your needs and your budget. Here you're seeing our premium model. We got the, what we call our uncabinet. It's unlike other live scan cabinets you see in the business. Instead of being looking like a refrigerator, it's really designed for one of its main purposes, multimodal capture. Depending upon the peripherals, you can capture fingerprints, palm prints, capture mug shots. You can even capture iris using our smart scan solution. Again, Windows interface, Microsoft 10, easy to use. It's using on a touch screen. You click it, and then you come in. Normally for demographic data entry, you can import those from your booking systems, your record management system. But again, just click on the field and you can enter the data. If you look over here at this red dot, you click it, it tells you what's the format and the validation rules for the data entry that will be going into that particular field. So like for name, we follow the FBI, last name first, We also have pick lists to help make it a little bit easier for those fields, especially where demographic data is going through. But the primary purpose of a live scan is to capture biometrics, so we'll be doing that next. So we'll go with fingerprints. We give you an initial screen if you want to mark any amputations, amps, or bandage, we give you that feature. And you can, if you miss that one, you can go back reset, and then it's cleared. So now we'll do the four finger slaps. It's set for auto capture. As it's going through there, we're gonna run our NEC image quality checks. And if it's passed, we'll get the check mark saying we got the high quality. And depending upon the quality, you'll get a different icon. If it's bad quality, you will get like a red image saying stop, go back, correct. Okay, so now I'll do my left. And now I'll do my thumb slaps. Okay. And now we're ready to capture the rolled images. If I roll out a sequence, accidentally, the system will give you a notification that you rolled out a sequence. And if you like, you can do an auto correction. You hit the OK button, and there it will put that captured image into the right place, and then you go back and capture the image that you should have captured in that sequence. Okay. 
Now we're ready to capture palm prints. To help capture palm prints, we can take advantage of the foot pedals. This is kind of set up for semi-automatic capture. So we can actually use that to do a little quicker job of capturing the palm prints, which can be like the most difficult to capture of all the images. So we do a three-part palm capture, put it down, then you put that. But we still do an image quality check on the image that you're capturing. But if you want to, you can wait and it'll do an auto capture as well. So it's really flexible to use. Okay. And then the capture mugshot, we can use any of the images we have available. For the sake of the demo, we use the webcam. Just look in the camera. If you like, you can take off your glasses. And then we run the NeoFace algorithm to check the image quality of the capture mugshot. We do have what we call the case review feature. And you can go through and look at all the data, whether it's demographic, biographic, or charge data. You can look at the fingerprints, if you like. You can actually zoom in. If you're a fingerprint tech or a latent print examiner, you examine the ridges. You can look at the palm prints. And you can look at the mug shots as well. Now, I didn't complete the demographic screen. Come through here, I complete that. And with this last field, that will complete my check. So from the dashboard, I've completed all the mandatory fields. I go back to review. It's all green. And I can actually submit to the back end. And I get a notification that the booking went through the system, left the live scan, and would have gone up to your APHIS or to your EMBIS system. That's smart scan. Live scan made smart. Any questions? Orchestrating a brighter world. NEC.